Hey guys. How you doing? Captain Adam, hi. Vigilante, how's it going, buddy? Shining Knight, wow, look at you. That's new armor, isn't it? Something wrong? Come with me. Have you read the papers today? Just the comics. Snorkel the Squirrel was hilarious. He's looking for his nuts, right? And then Berkeley, that's this wacky bear, he... Holy moly. When you joined this team, you became something more than just a hero. I know that, sir, but... You became a symbol. A symbol that represents all of us. Yes, sir. We don't play favorites, we don't sell deodorant on television, and we don't get involved in politics. Yes, sir. And we certainly don't endorse supervillains for the presidency. Now, now wait a minute. I never said that I was endorsing Luthor. Just that I think it's great that someone like him can change into a good guy. Life just isn't that simple. Well, maybe it is sometimes. Maybe people can change. Can't they? You are not to make any more public statements without running them past the League first. Is that understood? Yes, sir. America is a nation of second chances, and no one embodies that concept more than tonight's guest. Once viewed as, shall we say, a less than admirable member of our society. Oh, much less, I'm afraid. Lex Luthor has transformed himself into a respected and admired presidential candidate, and we're delighted to welcome him to the O'Bannon Agenda. Thank you, Phil. But I'm not here tonight as a campaigner. I'm here to talk about something far bigger than mere politics. And that would be? My newest project, Lexor City. A fully functional urban paradise built for low-income Americans in search of that second chance you were just talking about. Let's be straight here, Lex. There are people out there right now rolling their eyes. They're saying that Lex Luthor hasn't changed, that he can't be trusted. <laughs> can't say I blame them. But people can change. Take Hawk Girl, for instance. You take her. <laughs> now, Phil. Hey, what you watching? Shh. My point is, yes, she betrayed the Justice League. Yes, as a consequence of her actions, the Thanagarians almost destroyed our planet. But, seeing as how the League has welcomed her back into the fold, they've apparently forgiven her and offered her a second chance. They've taken a lot of heat for that decision. Maybe they're being naive. Some might say dangerously so. Or maybe they just want to give her a chance to redeem herself. According to Captain Marvel, they're giving me the same benefit of the doubt. And believe me, I intend to make the most of it. Lexor City is my way of accepting their goodwill and passing it on. I hear there's a huge open house event tomorrow night with all proceeds going to charity. That's right, Phil. And I'm hoping Superman will attend. I know how much he loves charities. Hey, that's great, isn't it? Let's talk about your presidential campaign, Lex. A Daily Planet poll would like...